What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with a another episode of MILF Manor. My God, it is drama. It is crickets. And it is dancing. And tons of ladies want to get so stopped by the young men. So, open up. Uh, Ryan and... I'm convinced this dude's gay. I'm convinced a lot of the dudes on this show are just gay. Talking about uh, pancakes and carbs. Then we cut over to... I'm going to butcher her name again. Uh, Katie? No. Kathleen? No. Christine? No. God, I can't remember. Disco Mommy. That's what I can remember. Uh, she's making beds and she's like, Okay, listen. I'm going to apologize because of the blow up. Because of the Spanish talking and me getting angry at all that. And... The, the, the ladies can speak Spanish if they want. It doesn't matter. You know, she she's there to apologize. And she wants to say, okay, I'm putting this behind me because I want to get sloshed and get new dudes. She goes up to Stephanie, apologizes, says, hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Stephanie kind of accepts but doesn't know if she should. And, and Stephanie's all like, oh, I'll, I'll teach you Spanish now. I'll teach you Spanish so you can understand. And everything's good. All happy days where we left off. Then Disco Mommy goes up over to Paula. And Paula's all like, I don't know if I should trust her. But at the same time, I'm going to, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to be safe. I'll accept her apology and we'll move on. See, we're, we're all happy. Man, I did Jose wrong there. Jose's no longer really interested in her because of the blow up. So he's going to go try to find himself a new woman. Paul, uh, Disco Mommy goes in for some alcohol early in the morning because, yep, got to get that alcohol. Got to get tons of drunk. And she literally says, I'm here to get sloshed and get dudes. We continue on. I'm trying to remember, where do we pick up next? Because we get, oh, yes, here. We have Gabriel and obviously two gay guys. We're reminiscing over the secrets that were brought out last episode. Gabriel is talking with April here about how, you know, it, what So Young did to her son was messed up. And it, please don't ever do that to me. And Gabriel's confiding in him that, hey, you know, it, it's okay. You, you have to work this out with your mom. You got to work this out gay Asian dude whose name is escaping me right now. Why can't I get that shot just right? Oh yeah, it was so young. And that uh, gay Asian dude needs to go to his mom so young and talk about it. They, they need to work it out. Okay, you, you, you gotta work this out and the guy's re basically refusing to do it. Then so young's there kind of crying because she he won't talk to her and this is all behind the scenes. This is obviously scripted to all hell because they're talking about this behind the scenes and these uh and these like confession room things and it's like, well, you guys did this afterwards, I'm willing to bet. You guys didn't do this on set in the middle of all this. You guys worked through this all. Let's see where where do we pull up next? Because this episode is a lot of these two crying over each other. Not wanting to connect and so young being sad and everything. And it gets, it, it consider, it's considerably drama filled. We then get to begin the double date. Yes, the double date. Between Ryan and April. Older April. Gabe. Gabriel and Stephanie. And then Paula and Ryan. They all get to go on a dinner date into town. They're all excited. Oh, it's going to be a nice date. Have a fun time. All the ladies are all dressed up. Ryan's acting like a buffoon. And I kid you not, Ryan said he chose April because she's the prettiest one there with the youngest looking face. That That is that is the face of youth. Ladies and gentlemen, This is this is a young, youthful face. Ryan chose Paula because he thinks she's the most attractive, obviously, and she needs a mature man, and that's who Ryan is. Ryan is the mature man. And then 
Gabriel chose Stephanie because he also thinks she is the hottest one there. Yes, it, it, it is what it is. So the dates are going good. And they get presented with their food, which is crickets. Crickets and lemon. And tons of tequila. So they're all out there. They're, they're eating. They're having fun. And Ryan points out that, hey, it, it's kind of weird. Oh, there, there's the crickets. It, it, it's Gabriel starts, you know, acting like a fool. Acting like a kid. And Ryan says that this doesn't make sense. You know, you're you're here to have be serious. This is a date. And you're acting like a petulant child. And at, you, this, he says the same thing about Ryan and... Not Ryan. Uh, the other dude, because this is Ryan. The other young one, who's 20 years old, by the way. Disco Mommy's son is 20 years freaking old. So Ryan's all like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not interested in all this. That This is annoying. These kids are acting, they're acting like petulant children. As the date goes on, Gabriel starts kind of picking a fight with, I cannot remember his name for the life of me, the other young kid, because he, he does, he's a jealous dude. Let's be real. Gabriel's uber jealous. He doesn't like the fact that somebody's going out with his mom and, hitting on his mom and it's not sitting well with him. He, he doesn't enjoy that. I can understand, but he is, he's jealous. He's a, he's messed up in the head and he, he, but he has eyes for Stephanie. He only wants Stephanie and he wants nobody else to know that he wants Stephanie. Let's see. As, as I move forward, where, where do we pick up here? The, they're having fun. And the oldest in the house is get, getting with the youngest. Who's 20, by the way, just, just, just 20. They're talking about, well, age is just a number, and it's not that big of a deal. And what what's on my driver's license is, doesn't matter in comparison to what's on your driver's license. Uh, somewhat right, and except uh, still creepy. Get back to uh, Gabriel freaking out about, you know, him putting the moves on his mom. Because there's a bunch of those uh, coming up moments, so I have to always get through there. So, because of all the childish actions, Ryan takes Paula out into the city. Because he wants to get away from everything and have a mature discussion with Paula. Paula is honestly my pick. I like Paula. Paula and Stephanie are the two that I would choose. So, Ryan sits down with Paula. And they start chit-chatting and stuff. And they, they're talking about, you know, what, what, what do you like and everything. And Paula's all like, I like my son. I want to be with my son. I love my son. My son, my son, my son. And I like mature men. And Ryan's like, okay. You know what? You, you're you're a mama's boy. You, you're, a, you're a mama's dude. And uh, I I can roll, but we're going to play the moves still. We're, we're going to keep playing the moves. Date ends. We go back to the house. And I'm trying to remember because the... the Contest doesn't happen until late in the episode. Excuse me. It is a bunch of drama. Uh, let me see. What what happened at this point? Yes, we have uh, Paula and her son and her son interacting with each other. Basically because Paula's so into... No. Okay, I, I remember where we are. Disco Mommy is putting the moves now on Billy, who was Stephanie's son. Because after the whole freak out... She recognizes that Jose is not really into her. So she's going to go on with Billy. And she's having an attraction to Billy. Who I am convinced in the show. Several of the moms are gay. Uh, several of the sons are gay. I am, I am downright convinced. Because Billy here has a very soft way of talking. He's like, uh, uh, yeah, okay, let's go do this. And uh, and uh, Disco Mommy's all like, I want you to lay pipe in me now. So we, we move on. Stephanie, Ryan is now going to go make the moves on Stephanie, even though he went out with Paula, because he thinks Stephanie is just as attractive, and Ryan's here to win, so he's going to start getting in good with Stephanie. Yeah, Ryan's the player. Ryan's here to win. I'm kind of rooting for Ryan, honestly. 
that they're getting connected and you know they're, they're chit-chatting small talk a sexy woman very attractive looking stuff burbs and w w where do i pick up next uh, i thought i'd move forward l l let's see because stephanie's making the moves oh we cut over here day continues with disco mommy and billy going out on a a small little date thing and disco they, they kiss they have fun disco mommy recognizes that uh billy has some shit moves because he is like you know i'm a good kisser everybody says i'm a good kisser you want to see how good of a kisser i am and he he then throws a carrot in his mouth disco mommy's like you're trying to kiss me with food in your mouth that's disgusting you don't got game so he eats the carrot chomps up the carrot and then they kiss I'm trying to see did, did i skip the kiss part because they they they're full on french i probably did then he reaches into his basket to pull something else out because it's like well what, what else do we have in here disco mommy's like knowing you probably condoms and they go back to the secrets episode where it turns out he's had sex on the beach and he he looks over at her and goes like sorry they don't have condoms that fit me and then they laugh they they, they laugh they laugh ha 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 and then a very disturbing moment happens an extremely disturbing moment from disco mommy I'm trying to get there uh disco mommy goes to Stephanie, who is Billy's mom, and says, you know what? Your son says he has a massive dong. Is that true? And then insanity ensues. And according to Disco Mommy, she's like, well, that's her son. She obviously knows how big her son's junk is. And Stephanie's like, I don't... I don't know. I don't want to talk about this. This is creepy. Le leave me out of this. Yes. It, don't ever do this. W what the hell? It was creepy and disturbing. She asked about the junk. So next morning comes around. You know, you got a mama from from uh, New Jersey whose son's a stripper talking about oh yes yeah, sexuality we we all want to be sexy and pretty she he, she's talking with disco mommy and the challenge is finally announced for to this week yes the challenge the challenge for this week is mothers and sons must do a dance together to represent desire and passion and the moment they find out what the challenge is uh harrison might have skipped over it because this is asian boy talking more about having to do stuff with his mom and he's still having issues okay i skipped over it so harrison hearing that it's going to be a dancing competition thinks goes straight forward he why can't i get the shot must harrison and uh mommy are all like yeah we got this it's time for get magic Mike on. Here it is, Harrison and Charlene. Time to get magic Mike going, cause they got it in the bag. Cause her son's a former stripper. We we cut over to so young and her son training. They they're not they're not getting it. They're having issues with each other because again he's still struggling with the with the whole secret of her sleeping with his best friend and not telling him it's struggling and stuff and they can't get it through their head and sad times oh this is a shot of what's to come and we'll get to that because gabriel is a jealous weirdo so what is sure what what is this lady talking about oh yeah they're talking about dancing and how how they're all ready to get these moves going we open up with Ryan and his mom dancing, and his mom is in a very revealing outfit, and I'm pretty sure I saw... Yeah. It is uber revealing, uber creepy, and she's out there just popping and locking. She's like, Ryan's all like, I want to show the men what my mom's got because my mom knows how to dance. Understandable. 
we move forward. Everybody's having fun. Ha ha ha. Yay. You know, all scripted because you have to smile. You have to say you're having fun. Then So Young and her boy come out. Jimmy. Jimmy's his name. And they're dancing. They're, they're getting everything right. They're doing the job right. And then they apologize to each other because Jimmy realized he's not mad anymore. He's not mad at his mom. He's mad at the situation surrounding it. And he loves his mommy. And we, we love each other. So that's all revolt resolved. God, this is... This is just degeneracy. And it gets worse. Trust me, it keeps getting worse. You got April and her son doing a dance. And they start shooting through dances. And it, it is... It is a thing. Then, finally, Harrison... And Charlene take the stage. I cannot believe this is going to happen. So Harrison and Charlene take the stage. And the women go wild for Harrison. Straight up. Give it to me now. You have Paul. You have So Young coming out here. Go like, I forgot this was a game. I just wanted Harrison to come over here and lay pipe down me. You have uh, Charlene, no, not Charlene. You had Disco Mommy come up and say, how much will it take for me to bribe Harrison to do give me a lap dance? All the women freaked out because Harrison took off his shirt and showed just how good of a dancer and used his male stripper powers. And in this challenge, Harrison and Charlene are the winners. So they get to go out on a dance date with two other people they, they both get to choose so and yes it was unanimous because all the women freaked out it was straight up unanimous so harrison and charlene choose their dates charlene chooses jose which honestly i think is a good match for her and harrison chooses paula not paula uh stephanie yay no bad things happen all the ladies are actually jealous of stephanie because harrison chose harrison chose her and not me mm. well have fun so we get out to the dance floor obviously scripted nobody's out there just dancing you don't have these cameras positioned right and everybody's dancing and grooving having fun Charlene and Jose are growing closer. Stephanie and Harrison honestly aren't because Stephanie and Harrison go off to sit down. This becomes the kind of a creepy part after everything. And I'm trying to get to it. Harrison and Stephanie sit down to talk. And Stephanie's all like, so who, who do you want to, who do you think is the prettiest in the house? Who are you most attracted to in the house? And Harrison's all like, so young. I like her energy. I think she's fun. Then Stephanie's like, oh, okay. Who do you think is the most pretty in the house? And Harrison's like, Paula. But you're out on a date with Stephanie. So so you like all these other girls, but you're on a date with Stephanie. So what what's going on there? Don't know. We don't get a resolve of that. And Stephanie's like, well, why the heck did you ask me out anyways? And he's like, oh, I don't know. I just want to have fun. That would be my answer. Just want to have fun. Pick, go out with a pretty lady. Give the other girls a chase. Make, make them chase after me. Then Jose and Sh Charlene sit down to chit chat. And I kind of like this because Charlene's all like, you know, I, I've been... I've been the leader. I've been a single mom. I've had the pants on for so long. I want a dude to just come by and take charge and just say, hey, we're going to go do this and we'll go do this. And, you know, she she wants she's classic. She's old fashioned. And Jose's not quite understanding it, but I think he's going to get there because Jose's all like, you know, if, if a woman also comes up to me and says, hey, I, I, I want to go do this. I'd be like, oh, that's interesting. You know, she's also taking charge. She, he wants a mixture. You know, he wants balance. He wants to be equal. He doesn't want to just be the one in charge all the time. And Charlene's like, well, I've always been in charge. So I, I want a good dude to finally take charge. And 
Well, that's how the night ends for them. It gets worse. Trust me, because, um... Because Stephanie's now been out with two dies, and I'm going to hop over to that. Because Stephanie's now been out with two guys. One of them was Gabriel, and Gabriel was very attention-seeking, attention whore, what have you. And he's... He has made his mark on Stephanie. Let's say that. He, he's creepy. And because Stephanie was gone the whole time, Gabriel comes in and starts trying to dance with Stephanie, making his moves on Stephanie. Ryan sees it, sees how he's acting childish, kind of acting, hey, I'm the center of attention. Hey, Stephanie, notice me. Don't let me go. Stephanie, I love you. Ryan's looking at it like, man, you're you're acting like a freak. You're acting like a fool. You, you don't have game. You're being demanding. You're being controlling and freaky. And Ryan's all like, nah, I don't like that. So next morning comes around and Ryan does a beach date with Stephanie. Where he he, he can, talks to uh, Stephanie and stuff. And he's all like, so wh what what's up with you? Who, what are you into? And she's all like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm here for a man. God first. Things of that nature. God will work it out. And he's like, what do you think about Gabriel? And she's all like, well, Gabriel and I are just fun and we're friends. And, you know, that, that that's how that's going to be. And Ryan's like, he doesn't like you more than a friend. He likes you, likes you. I also like you, like you. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to break it down to him that he is not the center. Oh, yeah, I, I did that in the, that, that was in the uh, in-between thing. The, the coming up. So, Yes episode breaks down with basically this is going to be a dynamic that stephanie has two dudes chasing after her she doesn't know how to respond she's going to struggle she has ryan after her she has uh gabriel after her gabriel's a freak major freak billy is going with disco mommy now stephanie not stephanie pola is kind of kind of single walking around Harrison is doing Harrison stuff. And uh, Jose is doing Jose stuff. And we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much that for this episode. Not a whole lot happened. It, lots of drama ensued. And can't wait to see what happens in episode 4. So check me out. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.